this video, I am going to show you how to make this shelled Christmas tree for your Christmas decor. So without further ado, let's get started on making this Christmas tree. Okay, to make my shelled Christmas tree, I'm going to use these three Christmas colors. I'm going to use a size F hook and you will need scissors and a yarn needle. All right, so I think I'm going to start off with the light green. We're going to make a chain of 48. Okay, I have made my chain of 48 and then we're going to join up with the first stitch. I'm trying not to twist it. In our first stitch, we're going to make a single crochet. We're going to skip three chains, so that's one, two, three, and in the fourth chain, we're going to do seven double crochets. Two. So that's seven double crochets. Now we are going to skip three chains and single crochet in the next stitch. And then we're going to skip three. And do another seven double crochets. Okay, so we're going to repeat that around. I will show you what to do next. Okay, I finished up with seven double crochets and I'm going to slip stitch into the first single crochet. But I had screwed up. We can either, oh, figures I could screw up here. Okay, what I wanted to do was to draw up the new color. So I'm using a dark green now. I'm going to chain two. Okay, and for now, I'm going to cut off this other green. Okay, I chain two, and then we're going to do seven. double crochets into this chain single crochet so that's one two three and Seven. Now we're going to find the fourth double crochet in that group and then put a single crochet on top of that. Then we're going to skip four. Oh, no, four. One, two, three, four. And in the single crochet. We're going to do seven double crochets. Okay. 
Okay, after we have done our seven double crochets, we're going to skip four or three, I mean, do a double crochet or a single crochet in that fourth double crochet, skip three and do another seven double crochets in the chain one space and then we're going to repeat that around and I will show you what to do next. Okay, so I finished up with a single crochet and I'm going to join the first double crochet and join my new color, which will be the red one. Right there. The fourth double crochet I'm probably going to pick up my red and chain one. Do a single crochet in that fourth chain. Skip three. Now we're going to start decreasing we're going to do six double crochets into that single crochet space. Now we're going to just skip three double crochets and single crochet in that fourth double crochet. Skip three double crochets and do six double crochets. In that chain, in that single crochet space. Then we're going to repeat this around until we get to the end of our row and I'll show you what to do next. Okay, I have finished the row with six double crochets in a single crochet. I'm about ready to join with a new color. So I'm going to Join with a new color. Cut off my red. Oh, that's okay. I'm going to cut off my red. Give me a second. Okay, I have joined with a new color. I'm chaining two. Or just, yeah, two. It's usually just not counting. And then we're going to do again six double crochets into our single that same single crochet. Okay, so now that we have an even amount of double crochets for our shell, what we're going to do now is put a single crochet in the middle, which is between the third and the fourth double crochets. So we do, we're going to do this on all our, our shells that are even, have even number. We're just going to put it in between two double crochets. Or in this case, we had six. So we're gonna put a single crochet in between the third and the fourth double crochet. So we're gonna skip these three. And obviously we're gonna do six double crochets in our chain or in our single crochet. Okay, 
and looking at our next shell, we're going to do a single crochet between the third and the fourth. And then do six double crochets in our single crochet. Again, we're going to put our single crochet between the third and fourth double crochets, and then we're going to repeat that around until we get to the end of the row, and then I'll show you what to do next. Okay, I have finished my round with a single crochet, and I have joined to the first stitch. And I'm going to attach my next color with a single crochet in between the third and the fourth double crochet. Now we're going to have to start decreasing some more. So in the next single crochet, we're going to do five double crochets. Okay, and then again over the next shell, because there's an even number of double crochets for our shell, we're going to do our single crochet in between, in this case, the third and the fourth double crochet. Okay. And again, five double crochets into the next single crochet. And I'm going to repeat this around. And then I will meet up with you to do next. Okay, I'm at the end of my round. I'm going to bring in my new next color, which in this case is the red. I'm just going to chain two. I've cut off my green yarn, joined with the red, and I've already chained two. We're going to do, again, five double crochets into our single crochet. Now that our shell has an odd number of double crochets, we're just going to do a single crochet into the middle, double crochet. Which is the third one in this case. Five double crochets into our single crochet. single crochet in the middle in our third double crochet or in the middle double crochet because we have an odd number of shells so we're going to repeat this around and then we'll proceed on to the next row okay I have finished up my row and have joined with the first double crochet and I had cut off my yarn 
Now we're going to join with the new color with a single crochet in the middle of a shell. Oh, because it's an odd number of shells, we are doing a single crochet in the middle double crochet of the shell. In this case, it's the third. We're again going to decrease the number of double crochets in our shell. And if you haven't noticed by now, we uh, decrease it every two rows. So now we are down to four. So we're going to do four double crochets into our single crochet. To our next shell because there's an odd number there's five we will double do a single crochet in the middle double crochet or in the third double crochet and four double crochets into our single crochet i'm going to repeat this around and meet up with you when i finish this row And at the end of the row, I'm going to cut off my yarn here, and pick up my, and now I'm going to pick up the new color. Two. We're going to four double crochet into this single crochet. have an again back to an even number shell we're going to do a single crochet in the middle of a double of the shell which is going to be in this case in between the second and third double crochets we're going to do four double crochets into our single crochet now we're going to do a single crochet in between in the middle of our even number shell which in this case is the second and third do a single crochet in between in between the two double crochets and then we're going to repeat that around. Okay, I have joined with the first double crochet of the round and I'm about ready to start the next round with a new color. So we are, because you were looking at an even shell, we're doing a single crochet in between the two most middle double crochets, which in this case is the second and the third double crochet. Now we are going to decrease our shell again because we had did two rows with four double crochet shells. Now we're going to start two rows of three double crochet shells. So in the single crochet, we're doing three double crochets and again we're going to in the middle 
between a second and third double crochet, we're doing a single crochet. In the next single crochet, we're doing three double crochets, and then we're going to repeat this around. Okay, I'm at the end of the row. I'm going to pick up the new color at the beginning of the round. Go back to a light green. Chain two. We are chaining two. Do three double crochets into our first single crochet. Now we're back to an odd number of double crochets in our shell. We're going to do a single crochet in the middle double crochet, which in this case is the second. Do again three double crochets into our single crochets. do a single crochet in the middle double crochet and I'm going to repeat that around for our row okay I finished up the round and joined it with the first double crochet now we're going to start our new color in our middle of our shell which in this case a double crochet into Started my round with a single crochet into the middle double crochet of our shell, which in this case is the second one. Now we're going to decrease our shell again, which is not getting to be not much of a shell. Only two double crochets into our single crochet. single crochet in the middle of our shell which is the second double crochet two double crochets into our single crochet and I'm going to repeat this around for this row okay I joined with the first double crochet and picked up the new color I mean, sorry, with the first single crochet of the round, picked up the new color, chain two, and doing again two double crochets into that single crochet. Because we're looking at an even number of not much of a shell anymore of only two double crochets. We're just going to single crochet in between the two double single crochet we're going to single crochet in between the two double crochets and then do two double crochets in our single crochet so one single crochet between the two double crochets and we're going to finish up the round and i'll let you know what to do next no, we are almost done. I finished up my round and had joined with the first double crochet. With our new color, we're going to single crochet in between the two double crochets. Now, in our single crochet, we're just going to do one double crochet. And a single crochet in between the two double crochets. And a double crochet 
in our single crochet. And I'm going to repeat that around for this row. Okay, finished my row. I'm going to join. Well, I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to join the row by doing a slip stitch and picking up the new color, the first single crochet. Just gonna chain two and just do one single crochet or one double crochet in a single crochet and do a single crochet in the double crochet and then repeat that around. Okay, we have, I have joined with the first double crochet and picked up a new color. And this time we're only going to chain one. And then we're just going to finish up at this point in doing a single crochet in all the double crochets. So we did a single crochet. We're going to skip this single crochet and do a single crochet in the next double crochet. Skip this single crochet and do a double crochet, or a single crochet and a double crochet around, skipping the single, doing a single crochet in the double crochets. six single crochets in the top so we can just do this in continuous rounds we're just going to do one more row of single crochet into every single crochet so to stitch with the first stitch to finish it off halfway off just gonna gather and finish off my ends here. My yarn on the inside. I think because this is all on the inside, I'm just gonna, all I was doing was tying off. And my ends. This is all on the inside. I do plan to stuff this. You can see it does stand up on its own, but I will stuff it and add a base to this tree. All right, to make the base of this tree, I'm going to put six single crochets into a magic ring. Do you have a video tutorial on how to make the magic ring? So check that out if you need to. Six. Pull this ring shut. Working in continuous rounds. We're going to do two single crochet in every stitch. Grab a stitch marker. We're using scrap yarn as our stitch marker. Which I've done for the longest time. Got two. So we're back at the base, we're doing two single crochets. First stitch, 
Mark green in my room. One in the next stitch. So this is just your common base. So what you do is you're going to increase six. You're going to increase six stitches every round until you're up to 48 stitches, which is matches up with our beginning chain from the beginning when we made our tree. Okay, I finished my base, 48 stitches, and I had stuffed my tree, which I used. I use scrap yarn. In this case is my stuffing. You can use fiber fill. So now we're going to attach this base to the tree. Base this way. And I'm going to chain one and turn. Now, if you remember from the beginning, we had three, we had skipped three chains in between each fan in each single crochet. So I'm going to find, okay, this might be a little daunting, a little challenging. I'm going to find, this is where my fan was. And I'm going to single crochet in that, in that stitch and in the next stitch of my base. Which looks like it's right here. Where we had skipped three, I put my hook in that space and attach, and then and go to the next single crochet on the base. I'm gonna do that two more times. The base of going into a chain three space and into the next single crochet in the base, and one more time. And then do the next single crochet of the base together. And then we, the next stitch, which was this, a single crochet, we're going into that stitch. And then going into the next. So in essence, we're going to do a double crochet around that representing each stick, stitch from the base of the tree. And do one, two, and also through A single crochet of the base we just made and then we're going to repeat that oh, and then we're going to repeat that around okay well before we finish up in the row you want to make sure you can need to add more stuffing at this point make sure you're good with that before we finish that up All I'm going to do is join with a slip stitch. With the first stitch and finish that off. All right, there you have my shelled Christmas tree. All right, to get it to sit better, you might want to not have not to overstuff it. That way it will sit nicer. Okay, and just a reminder, I have written instructions in the description of this video to include instructions if you want to make your tree a little bit smaller. So if you did like this video, please give it a like. And if you want to see more content like this, please subscribe to my channel. And I want to thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye now.